we have, first of all, we have this little group of people which is composed of the founder, Guy La Liberté, and uh, the creative uh, guide, and the creative vice president. And within this little nucleus, uh, we meet every quarter to decide what are going to be the new uh, project. And then we will allow some resources for people to develop it. And then, when a mandate is given to a new creative team, then we have checkpoint uh, at various stages of the production. In the early days, we let a lot of freedom to people to develop their concept. But when the concept is really achieved, then we will follow up every quarter and see how the project is uh, evolving. It's a long process. Uh, first of all, we have to identify uh, a director and the director will, walk in, will work in conjunction with about uh, 20 uh, different uh, creators. Uh, costume uh, design, uh, music uh, composer, uh, scenography. All uh, elements are represented around the table and for one year they will develop the concept of the show. Then when the concept of the show is developed, the second year is to identify the uh, level of artistic uh, talent that we're going to bring to the show. So we, it's casting, it's development of the scenography, the props, uh, theater design. All those elements are happening in the second year. And the third year is the year where we rehearse the show and open the show. We always have around six new projects in development all the time and depending on what the market opportunities are, then we will prioritize one project over, an, over another. Uh, but we have to spend all the time, uh, a lot of effort in developing new ideas, in talking to different potential partners, and uh, that's what we do to keep the company alive. Uh, competitors are uh, everybody in the world of entertainment, everybody f who is selling tickets. Uh, it could be a professional sports franchise, it could be the movie industry, it could be all sorts of entertainment. We are at the, at the, the uh, business base, we're ticket sellers. So we're competing with everybody who is selling tickets. In terms of content, we like to think that we're unique. Uh, I think people are afraid to push the envelope as much as we are. Uh, we uh, don't mind taking huge risk and therefore we have been able to create within CERT a new category of show. If you talk to someone that is walking from one of our show and you ask that person, what have you seen? This person is probably going to start by saying, oh, it's not a circus show. No, it's not dance. No, it's not music. No, it's not video content. It's all of the above. And I like to summarize it by saying to someone, this is Cirque du Soleil. This is a new type of show that we have developed over the years and that remain today totally unique to us. Yeah, uh, first of all, uh, you know, this organization has very, very strong values. And my challenge was, and my challenge is still, to protect those values. Uh, the roots of Cirque is very, very strong, and we had to protect that. Because Guy had been able to develop an environment that has stimulated creativity of people. And as we are growing, it's getting more and more difficult to keep this level of freedom within the organization. And that's very, very important. And that's my challenge today. Yeah, it's a crazy environment. <laughs> we have to remain in the mentality of clowns and artists, and, and we even have a clown inside the company that is working there just to remind us that's what we are. We're a bunch of clowns. And, and we have to keep this craziness because you don't create a new show in a boardroom. You're not creating uh, you know, new content by being too serious or by being too stuck up. You have to be loose, you have to, to, to have this craziness around you and it's tough to keep it in an environment where you have 5,000 people working. So it's, it's keeping the right balance 
between craziness and delivering a content that will be appealing to people. So between the two, I think we have to fight every day to keep the proper balance. The Trend Group is composed of three women that are traveling around the world and surfing on the net all the time. And then every quarter, we would organize a meeting of all of our creators and those women are going to present to them what they have found. What are the treasures that they have found in the last three months? And then they will give us the new trends on the architectures, fashion, music, live show, TV, again to feed our creators. They have good experience and, uh, and, and more importantly, they're a good researcher. There are very, very curious people that are always on the lookout to find new ideas and also understand what kind of content they can bring to stimulate a creator. Because sometimes they will present one image and then the creators will click to something else, which is totally healthy and that's what we want uh, the creative to, uh, process to, 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 to be happening. The magic of Cirque du Soleil, I think, is the passion of our people to always try to create something new because we don't want to repeat ourselves all the time. And it's very, very tough and it's getting tougher and tougher because the expectations of the public is very, very high. So it's very important that we're able to, uh, again, push the boundaries of our creativity and uh, to feed uh, new ideas we, we need people that are passionate by hunting all the time for new ideas and new concepts. I have the feeling that I have a mission today to uh, make sure that this organization will last forever. I know a lot of companies that have been successful for 25 years. We're in our 27 years and, and my goal is to ensure the future of the next 25 years of Cirque and that one day someone else will take it over and, and, and ensure the stability, the sustainability of the organization forever. And that's why I'm very, very passionate about because the more, uh, the more the organization will continue to grow, the more artists I will be able to feed. And it's rewarding for me to see artists that now can perform and have a normal life and have a num no, uh, stable salary, which is very, very difficult in the entertainment world. Uh, we probably uh, are the most important employer of musicians around the world. And uh, it's tough for a musician to have a stable situation. That's what we're offering at Cirque. And those things are a great motivation for me.